Hello, one and all. This is Luckless Lovelocks. Welcome back to Outer Wilds, everybody. There's a couple things I want to try to do in the next few episodes if I can't do them in the first one. Um, and that is um, to uh, try to get back to the Sunless City, explore the lab, the high energy lab. Okay, Escape Pod 2, Sun Station, and then try to get to the Sun Station as well, which I believe you can do that through the, the towers on the Ash Twin. I just need to figure out which is, they apparently work like the White Hole Station. So, um... Use to know my warp tower, stand in the middle of the platform on the floor, and wait until the tower's corresponding astral body is directly overhead. So, I'm assuming there's, um, yeah, the towers on the Ash Twin have to line up with the sun station to get there. Several large Nomai towers form a ring around the Ash Twins equator. The White Hole Station was used as a model for these towers, which were built for the Ash Twin project. And I'm assuming the Ash Twin project is on the sun station? The Nomai debated building a sun station in order to power the Ash Twin project. Or is it providing power for it? I'm not 100% sure. We'll find out, I guess. Uh, the Nomai built something called the sun station. But not everyone supported its construction. There seemed to be a lot of debate between the Nomai that were there. And it's maybe it's one of the things that's causing the uh, the sun to go supernova. But then what's causing all the other suns to go supernova? Is it possible they duplicated this type of thing on other other solar systems? I don't know. A lot of questions. Uh, the high energy lab can only be access, accessed by a path from the sunless city. So I'm going to rush to there and see, uh, see what I can do there before heading, uh, and then a lot of this, the sand should move over and then we'll play around with the towers to try to get to the sun station. I guess the sun station is engulfed though. At some point. Okay, so we wanna go to the Ember Twin. Because the sun expands before it goes supernova. Hey, there's the moon. Later. We'll go back there um, later on. There's still the, the quantum entanglement thing that I don't get either. But uh, we could go back and just try to get to the sixth place, given the instructions we've received already. Okay, so um, where's the best place to start this whole thing? Oh yeah, there was a entrance. Mm, maybe it's best just to go from the ship again. So where was that? Whoa, what the hell? Oh. <laughs> That's pretty funny. There it is. Although, yeah, I'm still not convinced this is the best way. The fastest way to get into the Sunless City. Maybe it is better to go from over here. I believe the other entrance was over by this thing, right? By the shuttle launcher. Yeah, it's right here. Oh! Okay. So we had to like jump over to here. Perfect. We're already here. So then we could just do this. Now, I wasn't really... 
High energy lab trailhead. It's down there. Okay. We're just gonna... Oh, oh. Oh. Damn. Another body. So, uh, oh. Am I supposed to go up, I guess? Well, let's start from the bottom, because this is the only time we're going to get a chance to be able to explore this anyways. Oh, this is the lab itself. Okay. 400 meters. Follow the power. Yeah, so if you don't go here right away, it's probably pretty hard to to get here. So you can see. Okay. Um, I can't fly. I think I have to wait for the sand to fill up. I mean, I can try. Oh, no. Okay, there's actually, uh, oh man, I don't know how this is going to work out. So as this fills up, it's going to cover those, right? Let's try one more time because I, I, I want as much time as I can, but I'm pretty sure I'm always going to get punctured by those. Yeah, it just drops you like right away. Huh, okay. This kind of sucks. It's my first time coming here, so... As with all things, um... The first time you kind of go to a place, you kind of... You learn how it works. Okay. Wait. What? Did I go the wrong way? Oh, okay. I came from that way. Do I have to go over here? Oh, shoot. Okay. Wow, you've got to navigate quite a bit. Oh, and it goes up. Okay. I was wondering, I was like, is the lab just going to fill up with sand? How am I supposed to, like, read anything? And it goes up again. Just want to see what's going on over here, though. This is the uh, passageway that the sand goes down. This must be the other entrance. That must be, yeah, that's going up. So we can't go through there. And we won't be able to get in through there either. Wait, that's going... That's going down. Huh. There's ghost matter there, too. I can't shoot the scout up. Okay. Sand just went by. Oh, that is going up. Okay. Oh my god, I'm gonna run out of oxygen. There better be oxygen in here. There is. They thought of everything. Okay, no scrolls. More bodies, though.
I could move. That looks like the uh, the kind of spots that you arrive at from the Whitehall Station. Let's do this. Let's see what happens. Watch quick out. Okay. I don't really know what the point of that is. That looks so cool. Let's see what uh, what this has to say. Hi, records show Nomai arriving at the warp receiver on Brittle Hollow, very slightly before departing from the White Hole Station. It's going back in time. Rami and I are devising an experiment to test if this is a real phenomenon or simple machine error. Interesting. Yeah, okay. I kind of remember those readings. I never really noticed that we were arriving before we left, though. Rami. In theory, what we want to try to reproduce is a negative amount of time elapsing between something entering the black hole and exiting the white hole at its destination. Pi. Initial things first. Our experiment setup will first pair a small black hole core with a small white hole core to mimic the setup on the white hole station. Ramy, hypothesis. It is possible for an object to exit a white hole before entering the corresponding black hole. Okay. So what does this thing do? Oh. Oh, there's a scroll. Okay. Um... Can't you can't remove the scroll, right? Oh, you can, right? Okay. Ramy, an update. Our experiment here reproduced the anomaly in arrival and departure times, but Pi is unconvinced it's more than an ex equipment error. I hope to strengthen the effect to render it visible to the unaided eyes. Pi. To that end, we've decided to try adding more energy. I imagine the Sunless City's energy supply should prove sufficient. Pi. All available energy has been rerouted from the city to our experiment. Ramy and I are about to run a new test. Hypothesis, Ramy says. Hypothesis confirmed. Hypothesis confirmed. I saw it. Pi saw it. Hypothesis confirmed. Pi. This is beyond extraordinary. This changes everything. What a beautiful day for the intersection of abstract theory and practical application. Let's stay over here. Pi of note, Ramy Yaro requests that we let him know before we reroute re energy to the equipment. That's probably smart. Ramy, I'd hate to leave him in the dark. I'm I'm trying to think back to the. Didn't we have a scroll that we wanted to read back at the quantum tower that I couldn't find a spot for? Um, but can I have removed the scroll? Is there, I don't know. I, I feel like I missed something at the at the tower. In terms of scrolls. Because I didn't realize you could remove the one that was there. Ramy, the Southern Observatory is asking if creating a 22-minute interval is possible. 22-minute interval is possible. That is, to have something arrive 22 minutes before it is actually sent through the warp. This is exactly what we're going through. Ramy, we've learned the negative interval of time between departure and arrival can be increased by adding more energy to the warp core. Problematically, the energy required to extend the interval increases at an exponential rate. Hypothesis. Creating a 22 minute long interval is possible, but we are currently unable to generate the necessary energy. That's why they use the sun. Ramy and I, Pi says, Ramy and I believe it would be necessary to invent a new method of producing energy. A thrilling but enormous undertaking. We would also require advanced warp technology able to handle such energy. Pi. We would also likely need an enormous space to fit these proposed new energy and warp technologies together. The only location large enough would be the Ash Twin. Okay. Ramy. The energy is currently unavailable, you say. <laughs> You're a gas, Pi. Pi. My pun was unintended, Ramy. So I believe it's you who's aeroform. Okay. That's funny. Pick it up. 
Pick it up. Hi, the Ash Twin Project will be one of our biggest undertakings, metaphorically and physically. To build it, we need a way to travel quickly between Ash Twin and each location that holds crucial project materials. Root. What if we use towers like the one we have on the Whitehall Station to connect each planet directly to Ash Twin? Is this a way to go to all the planets? Okay. Yarrow. Of note, each tower on Ash Twin will lead to a different planet. Blocks. We can design each tower to visually reflect the planet it links to. Blocks. The giant's deep tower, for instance, could resemble a cyclone. Okay. Clary. Poke, Root, and I can begin work on this immediately in the Black Hole Forge. This will keep us busy. Oh, so each tower goes to a different spot. That must be the sun station. So that's like the highest most tower or the one next to the um, one that starts lowest down. Okay, so I have to look up to get to the sun station. And that's, oh right, that's, that's no, that's the giant. I was going to say, is that the moon? But no, that's the giant. Very cool. We're still going here. Oh, and, oh shoot. That's one of the towers there, isn't it? Okay, we had power going out there to somewhere. We diverted it to over here. I don't understand what this is. These are warp cores. Now, I noticed that one's white and this one's dark. I'm assuming this is like the strongest possible one. Okay, those are warp cores. I've been, we've been seeing those around, haven't we? Did that open? Okay, so now that's powered and I have no idea what that is. Oh, that's to the city, I guess, right? What do they say again? All available entry route from the city to experiment. Reproduce anomaly and arrival. So this is where they perform the experiments. They must have been sending something from in there to wherever. Okay. So we know where to get a warp core. Um, let's keep going up. Oh, and this is the door we saw before. Okay. So let's see what happens. Does this, is this just part of their, this must be part of their experiments, right? So like this is maybe the tower they were using to send something down to there. Or is this going to connect with the station? Might be too late to go there. No, we, we saw that one of the towers on the Ash Twin connects there, right? Okay. I think... I think that's it for here. So we actually can get a working core. And we can quickly run over to Ash Twin and teleport... There isn't one on Dark Bramble, is there? There isn't one on Dark Bramble. Hmm. 
I guess we can get in our ship and go to Dark Bramble then. Man, you'd have to be we'd have to be very fast to do that. But maybe there's a closer core. Interesting. Wait, how do I leave? Oh, right, through the door. So we have the coordinates too, so we could probably go to the eye if we wanted to with what we've discovered. Is this where I stand? I don't know. Not important though right now. Let's try to go over to the, uh, let's get to our ship. God, is our ship like way on the other side of the planet? Fastest way to travel. Okay, I need to go over to the Ash Twin and see if we can make it to... The sun station, I don't think we can. I think I think the sun station's being absorbed at this point, but I don't know, maybe not. So it would be, which one is it? Is it that one? Yeah, it's that one. It looks like a sun, right? Kind of. I think I'll just uh, park the ship over here. So we are just like getting oriented. Yeah, it's this one. Okay. Oh my god, it's just, it's so cool. How... <sighs> so that's a warp core there. Can I go? I can't remember if I can get in through here. I see. Okay. I have to get over to there, but I'm going to get punctured. Is there something the sand? Uh, oh, can I actually? Oh my god, they're actually going to make me do this. Shit! Okay. Uh-oh. Damn. So I think probably we have to head there right away. The sand might help us traverse that because the sand will create like a buffer between us and the plants. You'd think that we'd just be able to kind of like um, 
burn them <laughs> or something, right? All right, well, I'm going to wrap up this episode here. Still found out a lot of info. We might have an idea on how to get... So there's kind of two... There's the sixth place on the quantum moon, which might be the eye. And there's also possibly using the... No, my ship. If we, were, if we get a, a fresh warp core in there, we might be able to travel to the eye through those coordinates as well. Maybe there's multiple ways to do it. Maybe that's the point. I'm, I'm not sure. Anyways... I'm super excited. This is Luckless Love Lock signing off for now. I'll see you on the next one. And I love you all.